I think that this next question a lot of you are going to relate with because you're probably here in the autoimmune tribe group because you are passionate about holistic healing and that you are at least curious about alternative ways to heal or maybe you hit a plateau in your healing using conventional modalities and routes. And so Chloe's question is, one I think you are all going to resonate with and she's asking tips for being around people who do not understand you slash do not see eye you don't see eye to eye with okay so I think we've all been there it's a very relatable question and first I want to say that it's important to always come from a place of compassion right too often we are quick to judge other people, but this is a, you know, a, a very overused cliche in turn, but like we don't judge anyone unless we walked a mile in their shoes, right? And uh, the basis of that cliche is actually really powerful because we don't know their story. How many times have you had a shit day and someone who says something that normally wouldn't just you brush right off but that day that wasn't the day to hear that right and so we get triggered by it uh so ultimately i think actually the the core of of chloe's question is about triggers so coming back come from a place of compassion place of compassion is going to help not only you heal but heal the world so Let's use an example that, that might be relatable. Uh, this is one. So this week I, I was like, oh, I think I'm getting sick. Something's going on in my body. I've been traveling, been working a lot, et cetera, going through some um, protocols right now that are taking ex extra energy in my body. So I went to the store and I got um, my elderberry syrup and then I've been using my essential oils on guard, the protective immunity blend both in the soft gel form and topically on my body and diffusing by my bed at night and I haven't gotten sick. But let's say that people don't understand that I'm taking this elderberry syrup and not like NyQuil or Robitussin. I haven't touched those things in like at least six years. I don't use those products because I do not agree with the ingredients or the mechanism behind those products. So what if my coworker was very judgmental, right? And they're like, I do not understand. Like maybe they're offering you some NyQuil. Like, hey, I got some NyQuil. You're really not feeling good. Why won't you take it, <laughs> right? And you're like, no, I don't want that shit. So uh, a few things can happen. Either you can trigger them or they can trigger you. So in that case, let's say we're, we're trying to, you know, give, give advice um, about whether you should take elderberry syrup or NyQuil. And if it bothers the other person that maybe that, that you didn't accept their NyQuil, again, this is just a silly example, but examples can help, you know, portray the, the point uh, in a stronger way. So if they are offended that you don't want their NyQuil, you don't want their Robitussin, and it's like, what, is this, this not good enough for you? And then you're like, oh my God, I offended this person, blah, blah, blah. That can happen, or you can be triggered by the situation. And in that case, it's like, you know, you feel judged, or they are judging you, and you're like, oh my God, like, I don't wanna feel like this person doesn't understand me, I don't wanna feel not understood. So in the first case, where, they're actually triggered by you and whatever it is you're disagreeing on, whether it's medication or otherwise. If they're triggered, then it's just their own shadow. It is not anything that you actually did. And instead, it's probably that they are just seeing a part of themselves that they do not want to see. Think about this in terms of um, like weight loss too. Sometimes uh, somebody who is carrying extra weight for whatever reason and then this thinner person comes in and 
uh, you know, is like, oh, I'm going to go work out. And this person is like, gets judgmental of this thin person going to work out. But it's not about that person going to work out. It's actually this person who's carrying more weight than they want to be carrying, judging themselves. That person triggered in them the fact that, oh, and air quotes, I should be working out or I need to work out. Or you're, you're putting right in front of my face the fact that I could also go work right, out right now, but I'm not. Or I don't have the energy to or whatever that is. So they're triggered by that. And they might be rude to that person who is going to work out and be like, you work out too much, Sarah, or what, you know, whatever. And like actually come off rude. But the root of what's happening is actually it's a trigger inside them. It's their own shadow. And if that happens, it's okay. Don't take it personally. Instead, come from this place of compassion. And you can realize, and, and you'll start to notice this, if you realize that every time someone gets shitty with you, usually it's just their own shadow coming out, you're able to start to pick it out easier and easier and easier, and you don't react quite as quickly anymore, and instead you're like, okay, that was really mean or really rude or whatever they said, we we're not agreeing, but is this really about me? No, it's not about me. So I'm not going to make it about me because it's not supposed to be about me. And instead, I'm just going to respond from a place of compassion. So if that is about whether you take elderberry syrup or NyQuil, or that is whether someone works out or doesn't work out, like you can respond in a way that is compassionate towards that person that you may have triggered unintentionally. Uh, an example of this might be, uh, let's say it's the, the you're, like, you're like, no, thank you. I don't want your NyQuil. I actually have this elderberry syrup. And there's tons of research that shows how effective elderberry syrup is supporting the immune system. You don't have to say that to them, but you might just say, no, thank you. And instead of like throwing it in their face that their choice is bad or something, you could just simply say, no, thank you. Uh, and in the case of working out where it's like, you know, you're off to your workout, but you trigger the person who's not working out, then you might just approach them with love. You might invite them to come. You might just share understanding with them. Maybe they don't have that energy. And you might even tell them like, hey, this, is, this isn't this is about you. This is about me. I just want to take care of my body. And when you approach it from a place of compassion, then it's much easier to at least become agreeable um, with each other. Uh, kind to each other is a better word. So then let's take the other situation. So instead of it being something that you triggered within them, maybe they triggered something within you. So if you feel like you are frustrated that someone's not understanding you, it might be your own shadow coming up. And then, and if that's the case, I want you to ask yourself, I want you to, to ask empowering questions and inquisitive questions like a detective. And ask, okay, why is the, what is the deeper reason that this actually bothers me? Why is this actually bothering me? Why does it bother me that people don't understand me? Why does it bother me that I don't see eye to eye with this person or this person doesn't see eye to eye with me? Likely, it's because you want everyone to like you. You want to be agreeable. You want people to understand you. And that might be because you feel a lack of un like there's this lack of understanding of you for some reason in your programming or in your life because of the way you were raised, the circumstances that you're in. So ask the empowering questions to figure out why does this bother me? Why do I want to see eye to eye with everybody? Because some people would, be, might, would come from a different perspective and they wouldn't want to see eye to eye with everybody. Instead, they'd be like, that's freaking boring. I want to be able to have an argument, like a friendly argument. I want to be able to debate with people. So different people are going to have different, different beliefs around this, whether they should see eye to eye with people or not. So if you feel triggered by the fact that not everyone understands you, why? What is the deeper root here? What is the belief that you feel like because, that makes you feel like you want to be understood by everybody? Excuse me. <laughs> Itchy nose. So Instead, work on grounding your own energy and detaching from other people's opinions. 
ground yourself. And when you're in this place of grounded energy, goddess energy, you are grounded, sturdy, stable, confident, powerful. Naturally, those uh, external opinions and understandings, whether it's there or not, that starts to shed away. And then we detach from other people's opinion. And when you detach from other people's opinion, you allow yourself to speak your truth, your authenticity. Okay, let's take one more example. Let's just say, and I don't, because I don't know exactly where Chloe's coming from in this, in this, um, with her question, um, like what might, where particularly in her life she's struggling. So just want to make sure we cover all the bases. So this last example, let's say that you have to be around somebody who you just don't get along with. You don't see eye to eye with them and you disagree on most things. This is often a family member and, but it's Christmas or whatever, and you're going to see them. So what do you do? Here's what I personally do. Cause I've been in this situation. I ground myself beforehand, ground my energy, ground, ground, ground. And that's that energy I was just describing where it's like, you're standing tall and proud and powerful and confident in your being and and when you put off that energy also people are less likely to try and break it down because it's like they feel your power and your confidence the next thing I want to say is to zip up your energy so you can literally like you're zipping up a jacket start down at the root chakra and zip yourself up to your chin so you're like zip zipped up for this however long you're going to be in the room with this person zipping your energy up and, and that's like this energetic declaration that's saying hey don't fuck with me <laughs> or hey i am protected and what you say that might be hurtful to me i'm just gonna let that bounce off today and i'm gonna hold this big spot in my heart for compassion 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 so ground yourself, zip yourself up, and then when stuff does happen, then allow yourself to be a um, kind of like a trampoline, where it's like that you know something kind of bounces on you, and then boop bounces off, bounces on you, boop bounces out off. And I like to think of it as a semi permeable shell or trampoline or however you visualize this, because I want to be able to receive all the love of that day and that experience with my family but I don't need the extra stress of feeling triggered by tons of things. So that's where that bubble comes in mind where it's just like, I'm gonna let this go. I'm just gonna address this with compassion. And you find too, when you start to respond from a place of compassion, then whatever they were saying to maybe try and trigger you, doesn't work anymore, so they stop trying. <laughs> and then it might just get better overall as well. And then continue to reframe that conversation as often as you need. So you're asking the questions, why does this actually bother me? Or if that person was triggered, maybe I just triggered the shadow in them, but it wasn't about me. I don't need to take that personally. So those are some tips, tools. Put them in your toolbox. You got this. It is totally possible to be around, intimately around people who you don't see eye to eye with and still have a wonderful time, a wonderful freaking time, whether it's politics or health or money, we can disagree on so many things, but allow yourself to come from that place of compassion and understanding. <sighs> beautiful. Okay. I hope that's helpful. Chloe, thank you for asking that beautiful question and I'll see you guys soon.